we shouldn't be frustrated or, or, or upset about this. I think we should be encouraged, actually. We live in a unique moment in history. Now, will we buckle and stick to some sort of partisan divide about tax rates and say we're on the side of the Republicans and we favor reform? I, I think reform is a false promise. Many people who make that promise don't even know it's a false promise, but it's a false promise. Do you want reform or do you want revolution? That's the question we face right now. And when you and say I stand revolution, on the side of revolution. Yeah, when you say revolution, like I, I immediately think violence, right? No, so no, I do not mean violence. I, I think, I think a revolution as in the American, the ideals of the American Revolution, right? I, I, I do not think this has to end in the way that, you know, wait, wait another twenty years, that might be where we are, right? I think this is our window to get it right by people standing up through knowledge, through speech, through unapologetic speech, without fear. So this is the moment where we exercise those free speech rights without apology. This is the moment where we actually stand up for those 1776 ideals, take some personal risk. Maybe you take a risk of losing your job, maybe. To be very honest with you, you may take the risk of your internet accounts being locked, maybe. You may take the risk of being debanked. These are the risks we take, but we can make a sacrifice if we know what we are sacrificing for. And that is this thing we call America. So I stand, I want to be very clear about this. I stand on the side of peace because you tell people they cannot speak. That is when they scream. If you tell people they cannot scream, that is when they tear things down. That is what gave us January 6th. I don't want to see that happen again. And so I want to be very clear about that. But I think we live in a unique moment where we reject the managerial class and the everyday citizen. It's the great reset on the one side. It's the great uprising on the other. And I stand on the side of the great uprising, and I think the way we do it is by exercising to the fullest our legal constitutional rights, which too many people are afraid to do today.